Well, the, the answer is no, and it's, got, it's probably pretty unfortunate because I've, I've been an admirer of Andy Grove and, 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 and Bill Gates, and you know, I wish I translated that admiration into backing it up with money, but the truth is I don't, I don't know where Microsoft or Intel, I don't know what that world will look like in, in 10 years, and uh, I don't want to play in a game where I think the other guys have got an advantage over me. And, and, uh, I could spend all my time thinking about technology for the next year, and I wouldn't be the hundredth or the thousandth or the ten thousandth smartest guy in the country in looking at those businesses. So that is a seven or eight foot bar that I can't clear. There are people that can clear it, but I can't clear it, and no matter how I train, I can't clear it. So the fact that there will be a lot of money made by somebody doesn't bother me really. And I mean, there may be a lot of money made by somebody in cocoa beans. But I don't know anything about them, and uh, uh, there are a whole lot of areas I don't know anything about. So, you know, more power to them. And I think it would be a very valid criticism if Charlie and I, if, if you, if it were possible that Charlie and I, and by spending a year working on it, could become well enough informed so that our judgment would be better than other people's. But that wouldn't happen, and and it would be a waste of time. It's much better for us to swing at the easy pitches, Charlie. Whatever you think you know about technology, I think I know less. <laughs> That's probably not true, incidentally. Charlie has a little more of a... He, he understands some things uh, in, the, in, the, in the physical world a lot better than I do. But anyway, we'll go to zone one.